Hello booktube. As promised, today is my uh, 2020 reading plans. So first thing I need to let y'all know is I will be having a very small um, book hauls the next two months in January and February because I went and spent most of my book budget um, on art supplies. For those of you who don't know, I also have a, I paint as a hobby. I use um, pastels to paint and I've been overdue for an art haul for a while. The last time I bought any art supplies was in January of 2019. So I was definitely overdue and I'm quite happy that I finally uh, bought some more pastels and some paper. I will probably, if anybody is interested, I'll haul them when I get them in. But since I did buy a lot of art supplies, I will for sure only have about three books I will be picking up over the next two months. Um, Gareth Hanrahan's uh, The Shadow Saint, which comes out January 7th. Um, A Snake Lies Waiting by uh, Jin Yong Louis Cha, which comes out towards the end of January. And I should be getting it about two to three weeks after release date since it is book depository and it, usual uh, shipping rate link time to America is usually about two to three weeks. And then uh, Juliet Wade's um, Mazes of Power, which comes out, I think the second week of February. Um, and for those of you, who, of you who don't know, Juliet Wade um, has a YouTube channel where every week her and some uh, other science fiction writers um, talk about world building and the discussions are always fascinating. So those are the only three books for sure I will be hauling in the next two months. Um, so I also had to um, cancel several Amazon orders to uh, work this out. Um, I was going to order um, the Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kosloff, and I'm blanking on the name now, but it's uh, the new book by A.K. Barkwood. Um, I had to cancel both of those, but fortunately, my local, uh, the library I go to, the best, um, the Waco McLennan County Library System, or have ordered uh, the Queen in Hiding. Uh, the Larkwood book, um, Riot Baby, uh, Vanishing Birds, and I want to think there was another one I was interested in in picking up and just saw that they were going to be available through my library a few weeks after they released. So I just went ahead and requested them from the library, which brings me to... Um, Another point, the past few months, I've almost exclusively read from my personal library. And I kind of really want to get back into frequenting my local library far more than I have been. Um, I enjoy going. I enjoy haunting, hunting through the stacks, finding books I didn't, I mean, never knew about and could be very interesting. So, yeah, so I'm thinking seriously about really frequenting the library far more than I have. Um, I was planning on using the library uh, for several um, projects or uh, booktube related events that I'm going to be involved in, which I'll talk about in a few minutes or seconds, depending how long I need her on for. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, um, 
and going to the library besides getting me out of the house and um, the joy of hunting through the stacks and stuff um, there are several projects as I mentioned that I will probably find going to the library for more useful and budget friendly than buying them myself so I discovered reading the past few months that if I read all of one genre I get crabby I get surly and just I'm not happy um, and I kind of experienced this a bit with um, Space Opera September where I read all Space Opera and by the time I got to Philosophy Weapon by Megan O'Keefe I was not a happy camper and I don't know necessarily if I just should have uh, went on to something else or just stuck with it but certainly by the time I got to Velocity Weapon I was kind of tired of space opera and when I did um, like my heavy fantasy readings in October and then again in uh, December I was kind of feeling that uh, particularly like in December I had read um, Hidden Sun, Lost Gods, um, Fate of the Fallen, God of Broken Things, The Black Con, um, The Hanged Man. That, that's six fantasy novels. By the time I got to Tams and Muir's Gideon the Ninth, I was, yeah, I was kind of like getting a bit overindulged I guess or kind of like yeah getting tired of what I was reading and again whether or not I wasn't fair to getting the ninth probably a rereading um, in a few months or a year or so might bear that out but certainly by the point I got to lies of descent by uh, Troy Carroll Booker or Booker, um, I was definitely tired. And even though I, I was really enjoying Lies of Descent, um, I was also like, I want to read something else. I want to get this book over with. And that's not fair to me and certainly not fair to the book. So I went and read um, Agatha Christie's Evil Under the Sun, and it was the perfect sort of palate cleanser just it really did what I wanted it to do and I mean and I do really enjoy reading Evil Under the Sun it is one of my surprisingly I think favorite um, Agatha Christie novels or at least the Poirot um, I was thinking maybe of reading uh, Miss Marple but I had read all of the Miss Marple novels in uh, 2018 quite enjoyed them although by the time I got excuse me to sleeping murder I was again kind of like tired of Miss Marvel so yeah so maybe I'll come back to it like in uh, this coming year and I also read uh, putting the science in fiction uh, edited by Dan Cobalt which I hauled a few like a few days ago um, quite enjoyed it I'm thinking I might do a dedicated uh, book review of it although I think maybe reading it all at once is not the best way to read that book but um, if like topics subjects that you will be touching on in your fiction is addressed in the book certainly use yeah I mean look up those chapters but yeah anyway so, what exactly are my plans for uh, 2020 reading? So, for one thing is definitely I do need to mix up my reading. So, instead of having like a TBR of eight science fiction novels or fantasy novels, have like a running T 
TBR of, okay, I will have maybe a TBR of eight science fiction novels, eight um, literary fiction or detective fiction or whatever, some nonfiction, and kind of read them over the course of a month rather than just entirely one genre or subgenre. So maybe keep me from getting so tired or so a greater proning to bail, I guess. Um, now with the science, the uh, nonfiction, I am a judge for the uh, book two prize. So the nonfiction side. So in with that situation, once Robert announces the long list, the 48 uh, books that will be on, I think it's 48 books that will be on the long list and gives me the, like my group of whatever rounds I'm judging and the group I'm judging. I'm not going to, like, my plan is, is to try to use the library to collect those books rather than buying them myself. And if I can't find a copy at the library, then buy it. But otherwise, I'm planning on using the library. Um, I'm not going to haul those books. Um, and I won't mention them until after the results of each round are announced. And then I'll do like a reaction video. And I will probably like film reviews of them, but put them like in a separate folder so that I don't accidentally uh, publish those videos before the results are announced. So hopefully, and then I'll do it either at a huge six um, video um like yeah put them all out at once or over the course of a few days and that i guess well depends um so i'll do like a reaction video and then from six to one i will do like the books in my group that i've judged and then I also want to read more contemporary fiction, um, which obviously if you've read my or watched my um, book tour or library tour, I don't have much in the way of literary fiction. So I will, again, going to the library will be quite helpful in that regard. Um, and I really don't, so yeah, I'm looking forward to like reading, um, Dex Newburyport, Naipo to Tangier, Middle England, um, Girl, Woman, Other, maybe Women Talking, and uh, do another short fiction um, thing. Uh, a few years ago, Simon of Savage Reads did a try a short story tag or challenge where he'd collect a number of um, short fiction collections, read a story from each collection, and then the one with the best short story he would read the whole book of. I actually kind of liked that idea, so I might do something similar, uh, both as a literary fiction or mainstream fiction, and then also uh, science fiction. Assuming there are any uh, more than just a few uh, short story collections from science fiction writers coming out this coming year. Um, also, uh, Britta Bowler is having a, uh, I'm forgetting who she's doing it with, a German uh, fiction or a German writer's read-along where uh, people, or ch I guess it's a challenge, where you can read uh, like German literature over the course of 2020. And I've looked up at my uh, what my library has. And they've got some pretty interesting uh, German writers. Although some of the ones that I thought at least from the Wikipedia pages, were quite interesting that my local library doesn't have. But I will email, I think, the library and see if they can give me any tips to see what German authors they have in their collection before maybe thinking about interlibrary loaning or making interlibrary loan requests. Um, I'm also, I volunteered, I don't know necessarily if I'm going to be one of uh, the 
BookTube SFF prize or award. Um, this is a, a award, a BookTube sort of literary award focusing on science fiction and fantasy that uh, Thomas of SF 180 and a few other primarily science fiction booktubers uh, do every year and I think they put out a call for judges a few months ago and I volunteered but I haven't heard back so I don't know if I will be a judge of that or not and so I think that's kind of most some of my reading plans I also want to do a reading around the world challenge um, I know Russell of Ink and Paper blog had a uh, like a read around the world uh, book club a uh, year or two ago. I think it was like two years ago. Um, that was similar to what I was wanting to do. I wanted to do a project of um, around the world in like 80 books, um, which I never quite got around to actually picking out the books or working on how I was going to actually go about doing it. So I might actually try that again, either maybe not this year, but eventually. Um, so my reading goals, I want to read about, try to get like a hundred books um, this year. If I read about eight or nine books a month, I should be able to do it. And I think it's a, an accomplishable goal Although I haven't actually counted like the books I've read over the course of the past few years to see how exactly I'm doing on that regard. Um, anyway, so now moving on to collecting. Um, obviously for the next few months, my uh, book collecting is going to be not maybe a few books. Um, although I will be hauling except for um, the book two prize books. Um, the books I get out from the library. Um, but since they're not part, per, permanently part of my collection, I'm not going to do that. So, uh, like, yeah. Um, I'm also, so, but once, like, um, maybe in March and beyond, I might, like, add more. Again, I'll probably focus, in, focus mainly on science fiction and fantasy with uh, some history thrown in. I'm not entirely sure if I want to focus, like, collect any more in, like, say, fiction, like, literary fiction, or other genres, detective fiction. Um, haven't quite decided. I mean, I kind of wanting to read more literary fiction, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to collect it or, like, just use my library for that. Um, that will be something that will probably reveal itself as the year goes on. Um, as far as story for my books go, I do want to pick up at least two bookshelves. Um, if you can see behind me where there's my closet door right there, um, there's like a space on either side of it where I could get like a small, like there's one on the opposite side over here off the screen uh, there's a small little like corner that I can try to get like a small bookshelf on if I can get like a tall very skinny one and then right here in that space between my brother's bookcase and the wall there's a good a space for a tall skinny bookshelf that I wanted to get there I mean, right now there's a small book-shaped uh, dresser um, that I want to move to my art space so I can use it to store my um, papers, like my art papers. And then put a, a bookcase there. And I think my plan is to move the books from these two bookcases over so they would kind of help fill out like move the science fiction and fantasy onto these two new bookcases and I have an empty bookcase um, in front of the uh, Walmart bookcase um, or yeah and try to move like the science fiction and fantasy onto that to where 
my brother's bookcase will be like the last um, science fiction bookcase and then move the nonfiction to in history to these two bookcases yeah yeah these two and maybe the one that the science uh, nonfiction is already on although I might use that one for something else so anyway those I think are my plans for my 2020 readings obviously at this point it's everything's up in the air and I'll probably talk about things more in depth as they occur so until then booktube thank you and have a happy new year